trying to pull him down because he was trying to look and see where it was. Caravans of federal agents, SWAT teams, and police today descended on the small town of Mesquite, Nevada, the home of gunman Stephen Paddock, his neighbors in disbelief. Just in shock and started shaking. I just can't believe someone in here will do that. I just can't believe it. Police raided Paddock's homes in Reno and Mesquite, where they used a robot to take out the garage door. Investigators found those 18 weapons, explosives, and thousands of rounds of ammunition in the house Paddock shared with his girlfriend, Mary Lou Danley. I wish they didn't leave the house together, yeah. Yeah. And nothing seemed out of the normal? Nothing. I'm just wondering what happened to him yesterday or the couple of days. Did he get in some mad argument or something? that would cause him just to think about doing that. Tonight, 2,300 miles away in Florida, Stephen Paddock's family is also struggling to understand how he could commit such carnage. There's absolutely no way I can even conceive that my brother would shoot a bunch of people. His brother says there was no mental illness and no warning. He doesn't even have parking tickets. He has no criminal record. He has no record of any affiliations. He has nothing. Last time they spoke, just weeks ago, right after Hurricane Irma hit Florida. The last time I communicated with my brother, he texted me and said, how's mom? I texted him back. Paddock says he moved his brother from Florida to this quiet retirement community nearly two years ago. And Stephen was a wealthy gambler who owned a couple of guns, but not an arsenal. He didn't hunt. He didn't, I mean, he barely shot his guns ever. He, he had a couple of handguns that he kept in a safe. Not far from Paddock's Mesquite home, the general manager of this gun shop confirming he sold weapons to Paddock, but that all necessary background checks and procedures were followed. And at that nearby gun store where Paddock bought weapons in the past, the general manager said he never gave an indication he was unstable or unfit. Kenneth Moten reporting there.